Hello everyone, welcome back to the second video of Tier 6 Infestation series 7 Day to Die 1.0 Experimental Version The extra detail of my setting is here and without further delay, let's go to This particular POI has a lot of trigger points at the beginning Those trigger points starting on the roof So I usually choose to not run away and resume my stealth because when I become hidden, the zombie will just wander off everywhere and they will drop from the roof. It will be a little bit messy and time consuming to just try to follow all of them. And since I'm gonna choose to do run and gun at the beginning of the quest, I'm not gonna use assassin armor and I will just use primitive armor set to just show you guys the point that stealth build can still be effective without assassin armor so now let's start the quest and just first off climb up this ladder and climb another ladder immediately you will spawn the first trigger this is my usual routine of how i deal with them with or without assassin armor you have a risk of waking up zombie from the left and the right of you try to deal with them without running around or break your stealth too much even for run and gun, try to stay in around this area because if you push further into the roof, you might trigger a lot of zombie spawn and you might get overwhelmed especially in the high difficulty setting. Oh and because it's tier 6 infestation, this particular trigger point has two waves, so ready for the second wave after you're done with the first one. If there is some zombie jump out of the roof, it's just normal stuff. It usually happens a lot of time, no matter how quiet you are. Some might still wake up and wander around. Now once you're done, I usually go to this left side first and clear with zombie. There will be another trigger point after I kill a little bit of them from that certain roof. Have a bit of water. Just deal with them however you want. I usually just stay here because they will run to me. If I push further forward, I might wake up more zombie. This is similar to the old stealth build in previous alpha. Without the assassin armor buff, this is just the same old things. Run and gun player or stealth build that a little bit too loud, you might aggro some zombie from downstairs and they will try to destroy this door on my left to try to get you. If it didn't happen, then it's fine. That means you will fight them afterward under. Now I'm gonna continue to try to clear these people on this side. <coughs> Sorry about my voice, I'm a little bit tired today and... It's a little bit soft, maybe. Primitive armor set has zero noise, so it's still good to use as a armor for stealth build. Now afterward, I'm gonna try to clear the zombie around this middle generator. If you clear for a bit of zombie, there will be another set of trigger that will jump on you from the two the two rooftop on the left and the right of generator. Help that guy is waking up because I shot him and I don't get the hidden status because I didn't equip my assassin armor. But this is just classic stealth play like in the previous alpha. Okay, now I trigger the spawn from the two roof and I will make a defense here because if I push further, I might wake up zombies on another side of the roof. And no more second waves too, which is nice. Now afterward, I'm gonna just move on to another side of the roof and clear 
zombie on this side first. Oh, someone fell down. Yeah, something like this can happen a lot. And if you play a lot and gun, many of them might actually fell down. And yeah, it's quite a bit messy. That is the down point of this POI. Troublesome for many people to just follow up zombies. And now, after you're here, um, there will be another trigger once you move to around that area. Yep, there will there will have a trigger and it is a necessary trigger because they will open the door for you to go forward downstairs. Let me clear some of the zombies first. Okay. Oh. The trigger point gonna spawn them there and they will run to you like this. Now, clear off them. As you can see, that they don't have that many number of zombies. So it should be okay. The last part is this part. Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna run downstairs from here. This is the way forward. And then crouch here because we're gonna clear three classroom. Open the door first before I start. This one is aggroing at me. And I don't get the stealth bonus because I don't equip as a sin armor, so I'm not hidden for them. Oh this one I am. This is classic stealth build from previous alpha. It it look the same like this. Now you just go on and clear three of the of the classroom. Just clear all the red dot on the compass. Yep. As you can see, you can use knife and go close even you're not equipping assassin armor. You can use any melee that you want, but I just oh, I just prefer hunting knight particularly. Just my preference. It's not meaning it's the best. Okay, this is the way forward. For me personally, go high is easy to clear for tier five, tier six even. Doesn't have that many zombies and it's quite a straightforward quest. Oops. Tanking it. Yep. Okay, now you should reach here. Oh, one more. Hup. <coughs> okay, you reach here at the burning barrel. Look at right side and yes. That is the zombie that you need to clear. You wake up. It flying. Yep. Now let's clear these people. For run and gun, you have a lot of rooms to run around, so I think it's not it's not actually that hard. You have so many doors, and you can even pull back to to the roof even. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna go out and clear one zombie outside. Usually it's a white zombie. Where is he? Ah. Oh my. Oh my. And the dog. Uh, the dog. I'm sorry. The dog supposed to be a trigger. He will run from that side. Okay. But I'm just taking too much time with that dude. So you didn't see it. Yep. And this one is gonna sleep here. There will be another trigger. Uh, police zombies from there. This is a trigger, the dog and then police zombie. And then the rest will be 
supposed to be sleeper zombies. Okay? So still build should be fine. And run and gun, you just have fun and play however you want. Still have a lot of space to play. You can pull back and jump out. And play outside, under even. If you watched the previous video, US Army post, that one is a little bit tricky because usually you just drop and there's no way up. Now just clear all the red dot on the compass. Okay. Oh, I yes, I forgot there should be two zombies behind this. <laughs> yep, I still didn't remember everything yet. Now you will go down to this um, gym hall and it will be trigger point. I hope I can show you that even without assassin armor, you can do this. Okay. So I'm going to try to buy times. I don't think it's enough. This is a trigger point of zombie that will spawn and drop from the ceiling from the gym. If you pay assassin armor, you can just wait around the stair. They will forget about you, but... Okay, good. So, if you play auto armor, you need to pull back further a bit because they will still remember you. <laughs> They have better memories if you <laughs> if you equip all the armor aside from assassin armor. Assassin armor just give them amnesia. <laughs> oh, this guy. Okay. Now we go down to here and clear every red dot on your compass. There is another. One or two zombies that already aggro, but they couldn't find me. Then we will fight them. Okay, you clear off the zombie here. Let's don't go. This. Let me loot first, mister. Okay, he did it. Where is that red dot? And this one? This one? Where? Oh. Oh. Yeah, sometimes they're stuck above. <laughs> Even if it's a trigger, they're just stuck. For some reason. Now, is, there a, is she outside? She didn't run away. Ah, she didn't. Okay, we will... That's the way that we need to go anyway. So, just keep on forward. There's a lot of space for running gun player to play. So you guys should be fine and have fun. I feel like if you play... Oh, she's here. I feel like if you play turret and nerd, uh, nerd build, it's quite... Might be fun to just run around and let turret shoot at the zombies. Okay. Yep. It turned out that... I'm mistaken about the door. The door is still really loud when you open and close it, but I didn't notice it because I used Assassin Armor. Assassin Armor is too effective. Assassin Armor or Rogue set have one one armor one armor piece that give you sneak effectiveness. It can be up to twenty or thirty percent, which is a lot. That's why if you doesn't want to use Assassin Armor. Rock said is the second best one. That is just fly. And I'm clearing this kitchen and I'm gonna open that. That is the exit. And 
if you overwhelm you just run out that way remember the way out through that gate now we gonna we already reached the last area of this quest now really fast quite clean I wake up someone and yep just use an armor with 0% noise increase and you should be fine it's still doable but if you use assassin armor it's gonna be really really OP Okay, I clear two restroom. For now, you just clear all the red dot on the compass. Just simple as that. And the quest will be done. Quite easy, isn't it? I think I wake up someone. When open the door, is <laughs> He just pushed that guy out. He's still sleeping, mister. For higher difficulty, it will similar to stealth build in previous alpha. So once you wake them up, you will not get another sneak sneak damage bonus. You will just need to deal with zombies. So it's gonna be a bit tricky or uh, harder than assassin set because. If you equip assets instead, you just keep shooting and they still, they're not gonna know that you are there most of the time. So difficulty setting will not affect assets instead armor that much. Like it's gonna affect just a little bit because you just keep shooting at them and they don't know that you are there. Okay, now I'm just gonna clear it. I got hit too, right? In this run. This one is so bright. And yep, 26. They wake up. A little bit too loud. It should be good. Sorry for a little bit of hiccup. <laughs> if it's not assassin armor or, or rogue armor, sometimes your sneaking is not not quiet enough. Let's clear this side and we are good for the quest. <coughs> Sorry. Mister, you want to get out? You need to destroy another block, mister. Under, mister. Look at the popo. See? He's smart. And we're gonna just keep clearing normally. This is <laughs> feel nostalgia for me. Because it's so similar to previous alpha. Okay, just a little bit more. And then Congratulations, you just clear Grover High. Now you just loot your reward here and afterward we will go back to the gate that we open. And now that I'm done looting, I'm just gonna go back. Backtrack the way to the kitchen and go back to my vehicle. If you play on and gun and you feel overwhelmed, you can just come back through here. To play with the last 
area of zombie too and that's about it for Grover High. as you can see if you don't choose to play assassin armor it's still doable for stealth build stealth build can still be effective it might not be effective toward the trigger spawn but it's still doable you can still run away and hide from them and i will see you in another video of tsc infestation for today thank you for watching and have fun with the game bye bye